I'm Caroline Warburton and I run Wild Scotland, the Scottish Wildlife Tourism Association. What do I like most about Scotland? Well, there are so many things, but in particular, I think it has to be the natural environment. I can't think of many other places in Europe that have such a range of different places where you can go and see some wonderful wildlife. An ideal day for me in Wild Scotland would be when I'm out visiting one of the Wild Scotland members. For example, I might be over on Marl and I'd get the opportunity to go whale watching, or I might be um, up in the hills in Highland Perthshire on the Land Rover Safari. Who can't fail to be impressed with these mountains and lochs? So whether you want to go hill walking, Munro bagging, uh, climbing, rambling, canyoning, whatever you want to do, there's something for everybody really. If I was giving a tip to somebody coming to Scotland to see the wildlife, I think the most important tip I would give would be to make sure that you find somebody locally who can tell you how to watch wildlife properly in, in the areas that they are. For example, if they can go out with somebody on a boat, they're going to know the best places to see the whales and dolphins or the seabirds and to make sure that they don't disturb them. And people in Scotland love helping visitors, so I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding anything. Here on Loch Shiel, for example, it's a great place for golden eagles and badgers and pine martins, and there's a boat operator here who will take you out, and he knows the best places to see them. Scotland is a nature lover's paradise. Uh, whatever the time of year, there's always a great nature event taking place. In spring, we've got the arrival of the seabirds. We have some world-class seabird colonies. Uh, the Bass Rock, for example, Treshnish Islands, up in Orkney and Shetland. Uh, if you love the land, we have some great upland species. We've got red grouse, ptarmigan, black grouse, uh, capercaillie, uh, some really unique species like uh, crested tit, Scottish crossbill, um, and of course we have our very enigmatic Scottish wildcat. If it's the water you like, well then I think the, probably the best things are uh, the minke whales. We've got some of, some of the best places to see bottlenose dolphins probably in Europe uh, up at Channery Point. Um, and we always have regular visitors from uh, killer whales, uh, common dolphins and the occasional humpback whale as well. The thing I like most about April I think has to be the fact that it's spring is on the way. The days are getting longer and uh, the wildlife is just starting to get ready for the spring. The birds are starting to sing, the flowers are starting to come out. Um, it's a great time to visit Scotland. I'd hope that people would take away uh, from a holiday here in Scotland, um, well most importantly that they would come back, that they would want to come back and they'd tell all their friends about how great Scotland is. Um, I hope they receive a warm welcome and I hope they fall in love with this landscape and our wildlife.